everybody, Dana here again with more Tuesday tips for leaders of volunteers. And we're in early-ish November still in 2021. And this week's Tuesday tips are about the feast or famine of the holiday season. Now, October through January, tons and tons of different holidays. Some are almost worldwide celebrations like New Year's Day is a common holiday and lots of different other holidays in between. Some are feasting, some are fasting, and you get this kind of feast or fast or famine with volunteer activity as well, where maybe a lot of your volunteer leaders and people who've been with you a long time and really know what they're doing, they want that time off and they deserve it and they should get it. So they've got a holiday off and maybe you're a little bit shorthanded because of that paired with the phenomenon that I've been through a lot with food agencies and conservation agencies and youth and family services agencies, where you have a great uh, good hearted spirit of a bunch of people who don't usually volunteer wanting to drop in at the last minute. So you get this, these kind of extremes of ups and downs and the schedule and the talent pool and the capacity with which you're able to work in the next couple of months. So some of my solutions over the years of uh, managing volunteers have included really great proactive messaging to the community that you absolutely do not <laughs> accept drop in last minute volunteers or you absolutely do and what those shifts and circumstances are and also proactively reaching out to other agencies that you may have partnerships with or build new relationships and new messaging so that you know where to send drop-in people where are they most needed and you can all all of your agencies can kind of coordinate that together even at the last minute for the best possible effect now the third tip that I offer around kind of solving for this this roller coaster up and down is to make sure that you're not just creating last minute opportunities or busy work just for the sake of thinking that you have to accommodate it. You don't. You don't at all. Uh, do what's best for your agency and your mission and the work that you need to do day to day. You don't have to invent a last minute thing. If you can, if that really helps your agency and you can plan seasonally for these kinds of seasons where, ah, this time of year, we're gonna have a lot more requests for drop-in. You can, again, proactively start to plan for these weeks in advance uh, or even for next year and learn from the volunteering patterns of days off or drop-ins from what you've gone through this year and in years past. Use that information to design, ah, oh, we can do a drop-in or we still don't accommodate it with the work we do, that's fine but these other agencies can certainly use the help. And just kind of getting ahead of that messaging to the community so that people know where to go and what to do and making sure that whoever is answering the phones, uh, paid employees or volunteers or whomever at your agency has that crucial little piece of information. So the first time someone reaches out to your agency, they know exactly where they can drop in, where they can't or where to go if you can't accommodate them. And that builds that goodwill in that community engagement. Uh, even if they don't end up volunteering with you, they're doing something good with a partner agency and they've had a good experience talking and communicating with your organization. So I hope you get through the holiday season uh, more easily than not. And I hope that you enjoy these Tuesday tips and I'll see you next time.